Hey guys, welcome back for another team building video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Uh, today's video we're going to be talking about the other world super warriors, Goku Angel and Vegeta Angel. This is the card that will Dokkan Waken up until LR Gogeta. I'll be doing a separate video for the LR Vegito card as well. Uh, that's probably going to be released uh, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow is probably going to be released on Wednesday after my weekly grind video. Or I'll do the weekly grind video later in the day. I'll, I'll start the day off with the LR Vegito video. Anyway, that will be next. So if you guys are interested in that video, go ahead and check it out. Right now, we're going to start out with this card. Leader ability is physical type key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 70%. Super attack, Kamehameha, big bang attack, immense damage to the enemy. Passive skill for most fighters. Attack and defense plus 80% at the start of the turn. Key plus 1 in addition per, uh, key plus 1 per uh, rainbow key orb obtained. Um, now, link skills are Kamehameha, Saiyan warrior race, the Saiyan lineage, experienced fighters, and prepared for battle. Max stats are going to be HP of 10,488, attack of 8,174, defense of 5,289. 12 key multipliers 140%. Now they will Doken Awaken with 35 medals. Now these medals are available. These are the Super Gogeta medals. They're available for the ultimate pair, this Doken event over here. Um, you're going to have to go and take it on. Honestly, it's, it's pretty easy. It, they're monophysical throughout the entire battle. You could really do it with any uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku team, uh, Janemba team, uh, or I also brought my Extreme 120 team with the Rose and Janemba on it. Um, I also brought my Realm of Gods team, my Fusion team. So pretty much any anything that is like either type advantage at the 120 level, um, or has a uh, you know Janemba on it pretty much. Because Janemba is his weakness. Janemba does extra damage as you see over down here, um, and or if you do like any type of category leader that's like 150 or 170. Anyway, it was a pretty easy event. I did the first five without any issues. Um, for your second Doken Awaken, you're going to need um, those medals, and you'll need some more medals. Anyway, uh, when he the first form time he Doken Awakens, he Doken Awakens to a TUR Resurrected Saiyans, Super Saiyan Goku Angel, and Super Saiyan Vegeta Angel. Leader ability is now Physical Type Key, plus 3 HP attack and defense, plus 80%. Um, super attack is Kamehameha, and Big Bang attack does immense damage to the enemy. Passive skill, Cooperation in the Other World. Attack and defense, plus 100% at the start of the turn. Key, plus 2, per key or Rainbow Key Orb obtained. Now, the cool thing is that at the start of the turn also means that you don't need to worry about him being in the first or second slot when he's your primary rotation. He's always going to have the defensive buff, so he'll be able to tank either way. Link skills are Kamehameha, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Experienced Fighters, Prepared for Battle, and now he gets Fierce Battle. Max stats are going to be HP of 13,575, Attack of 7656, and Defense of 6768. 12 key multiplier is going to be 150%, and um, he's going to Dokkan Awaken with 35 of the original medals that we talked about and 35 of the OG Gogeta medals. So this is the uh, OG uh, event over here. You're gonna need the Inevitable Fusion, or yeah, the Inevitable Fusion. <laughs> and then um, you go in here to grab those medals. You're gonna do a uh, level three Fusion Reborn to go up against the Intelligence Gogeta. Once you do that, you'll be able to Doken him again into his LR form. Fused Fighting Force, Super Saiyan Goku Angel, and Super Saiyan Vegeta Angel. Now this form, leader ability, Fusion, category, key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus, or sorry, HP and attack plus 170%, and defense plus 130%. It, or he does physical type, key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 90%. Now that's pretty cool. Think about it, fusion category. So for mono physical team, you could actually run him on Super Battle Road. Uh, you can throw on the physical Go Tanks and the Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks. Those both are fusion characters, as long as him, with him, and you run a double lead, and you're going to have, what, 1, 2, 3, 4 of your seven units are going to be getting the fusion category buff and then you do physical type key plus three hp attack and defense so you'll get the 90 percent buff for the rest of your units i think that's all the fusions that are on there i'll have to double check anyway he has the two super attacks as typical for an lr uh kamehameha and big banging tank from 12 to 17 key for colossal damage and kamehameha and final flash for uh for 18 plus key which raises attack for one turn causes mega colossal damage to the enemy passive skill invincible duo attack and defense plus 120 percent at the start of the turn Key plus two, in addition per rainbow key orb obtained, and fuse when conditions are met. We're going to talk about that in a second. Leader ability is Kamehameha, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Experienced Fighters, Prepared for Battle, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. So they now get the Legendary Power uh, Link skill, which is alright. Uh, they are unfortunately only part of one category at this time, which is the Fusions category, but it's going to be a very powerful category. Max stats are going to be HP of 16,263, Attack of 15,700, and Defense of 9869. Um, let's see. Fusion Dance activates when HP is 50% or below, starting from the 6th turn, the, or um, from the start of the battle. So you need to wait for 6 turns to pass, and then for your HP to drop below 50%, in order for this to go off. Now, um, I personally think that, like, it's the same thing for the, the LR Vegito. 
it, when it happens, it's awesome, but it's so hard for that to actually happen. The chances of it actually going off is going to be very little. Not, I don't want to say very limited, but it will be more limited unless you're going up against a newer Dokkan event. So um, it's pretty cool. I do enjoy. I like the mechanic. But again, so my personal thing, another reason why I chose this guy over the uh, LR Vegito, just because his, his numbers are higher, he has number, higher numbers, and their passes until they doken away, or, yeah, until they, uh, they transform, they are, they, he literally is the harder hitter. And then I believe someone had told me, now don't quote me on this, alright, please, I, I don't know if this is actually true, I didn't run the numbers on this one, but I heard that Gogeta will do more damage when, even when they transform up unless Vegito does two counters in the turn. When Vegito does two counters, that's when he out damages Gogeta. Which means if there's only one counter, that means Gogeta's still out damaging him. So I again that, that's just my thing. I think that Gogeta is I, mean, I, I needed him uh for my fusion team, wanted him for my fusion team. I have a full fusion team. I do have a full Patara team too, but and then and, and all the other units on the banner. So you know it's like one of those mixed things. But um I, that's why I personally like him over the uh, LR Vegeta. Um, maximum super attack levels 20 increases uh, super attack multiplier by 30%, which is typical. Raises attack for one turn is 30%. Super, uh, increase the super attack multiplier. 12 key multiplier is 150%. 24 key is 200%. When he when he uh, transforms, uh, leader ability stays the same, and the super attack animations change. Big Bang attack and Soul Punisher are the two animations, which is actually really awesome. Uh, colossal mega colossal damage and lowers attack and defense, which means he debuffs the enemy. Passive skill fusion of miraculous revival. Um, fully recovers HP only once the Vegito does that too. Attacks effective against all types, which is awesome. Attack and defense was 150% at the start of the turn, which means he will be tanking and doing a lot of damage. And key plus three per rainbow key orb obtained, so he just goes crazy. Uh, link skills are Kamehameha, uh, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Fused Fighter, prepared for battle, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. I don't think this guy had Fused Fighter. This they had Experienced Fighter, so he changes from Experienced Fighters to Fused Fighter. So that's awesome. And this guy has to prepare for battle, right? Yeah. So I'm pretty sure everything else uh, stays the same. Um, his category is fusion, obviously. Max stats are going to be the same as well. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. Transforms into Super Gogeta, unlike Giant Mode and Rage Mode. Takes up the whole turn, uh, and more. So it pretty much just means he's, he's staying there. Once, once he's there, he's there, unless you end the battle. Um, the ag card actually becomes a new card with a new name. Super attacks, passive, and link skills, um, for the remainder of the fight change. Furthermore, he does not gain invincibility either, but he can link with, uh, other Super Gogeta cards in the rotation can link with other Super Gogeta cards, which means that is awesome. Um, that's why I need that Intelligence Gogeta. Super Gogeta retains hidden potential boosts, uh, so that's awesome. Has Ultra Super Attack, lowers the enemy attack by 20%, attack and defense by 20%, and gains 4 key for every rainbow key orb, so it's the 1 key plus the additional 3. So that's how that works. So this guy's pretty damn overpowered, um, just like the, the LR Vegito. Uh, but that's enough of me going over the card, I already spent most of the time going over that. Let's talk about his linking buddies. Best linking buddy in game, obviously, the LR Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan Vegeta before the transformation. You know, I wish Dokkan Battle Below would be really cool if they had the option to select the actual transformed person. That way you could see other units that he links better with. Um, but anyway, so for this guy right here, best linking gut buddy in game is the LR Goku and Vegeta. Um, so you can link with them with six link skills over here. Holy crap. Uh, what is that? I think that's almost all of them, right? Super Saiyan Experience Fighters Command Mayor Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power. Um, his next best linking buddy in game is going to be um, Intelligence Gogeta, which is holy crap! Like, what is that? 10, 20, 35 percent attack buff and three key, phenomenal. And both of them are Gogetas, and they link together even after transformation. Remember, um, so he will drop experienced fighters and get fused fighters, so he drops the uh, attack buff for a for a key buff when he transforms. So that's not bad. Uh, LR Gohan. So he has what over here? Geez, stay on, stay on the card. There we go. Um, two key. 15, 25% attack buff, and 7,500 attack buff, flat out buff. These guys are actually really awesome linking together. Um, let's see, Gohan, this is the future Gohan, and he's not really that great in my opinion, but he does link very well with them, with at what, 2, 3 key, 20% attack buff, and 2,500 flat out buff. Super Saiyan 2 Goku Angel, I think he's the support unit, right? No, no, he's not. This is the one where it's key plus 5, attack plus 12,000 as the third attacker in turn. I don't think these guys will ever be together, but they link for 5 link skills if you guys are looking for a linking buddy. Um, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, prepare for battle, fierce battle, so that's 25% attack buff, 3 key, and 2500, and this OG LR, Ultra Rare, Super Saiyan 2, Gohan, which is the same thing as his other counterpart, except for Legendary Power, uh, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, prepare for battle, and fierce battle. So very good linking buddies, honestly, so if, if you take these two down here, because I don't think these guys are great, 
These guys are actually, the, this guy is like, I would say lower eight here now in the game. He's still a good unit, don't get me wrong. He's just lower eight here. You know, because what is he? Um, he's key plus three, attack plus 70% with immense damage, which is awesome, don't get me wrong. But 70%, he, if he had like an extra 20%, he'd be a lot better. Um, so these two are like going to be really good for this for this team or for him running alongside of him uh the gogeta is going to be the best for him because of the fusions category buff that he gets so these two are like going to always be run together when you're running a fusions team um and if you're just running a heroes team uh, any of these three up here are definitely gonna be primary picks and if you don't have lr gohan and you want to throw gohan on the team you could actually have this gohan here um in terms of mono physical team four or more link skills uh the super saiyan blue vegeta four link skills over here which is 25% 2 key and 2500 flat up buff. The Kaioken Goku, which is now summonable in this regular summonable pool, because I pulled him a lot. Uh, Fierce Battle, a Super Saiyan, so that's 25% attack buff, 2 key, 2500 flat up buff. The Great Saiyan Man, which is 3 key and 10% attack buff and flat out 2500. Uh, yeah, attack plus 90% at the start of the turn. Um, we have the Super Saiyan 2 Goku. I think this, yeah, he is definitely the support unit. He gets, what, 3 key, 10%, and 2,500. Key plus 2, a 20% attack for all allies. That's pretty awesome. The Majin Buu Arc category lead for uh, Super Vegeta, which is going to be, was that, 3 key, then, tw yeah, 25% attack buff. That's nice. Super Trunks, which isn't that great. Key plus 4, attack plus 60% on the start of the turn. Not that phenomenal, but he is there. Um, so you're going to have, what, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan. Uh, yeah, that's 25% attack buff and 3 key. Not bad at all. And then you have the Go Tanks up over here. Hell yeah. So you have Go Tanks for four Link skills. So he has Super Saiyan prepared for battle, Fierce Battle, and Golden Warrior. So three key, 25%. Now, if you're running him as a leader, just remember, this guy is getting the 170 buff. You know, the attack and HP plus 170, defense plus 130, because he is a fusion category card. So that's going to come in a very, very, uh, will come into play very, very much. Um, next one is going to be his fusion linking buddies. I mean, we already kind of talked about it. Uh, Gogeta's there. Uh, the physical go tanks is there which we already talked about the other go tanks are up over here as well they're also part of that so you can go ahead and link him with these guys the uh, strength gogeta as well he's missing one link skill which is experienced fighters but that's not that bad and the super saiyan 4 go or gogeta i'm sorry gogeta three link skills kamehameha fierce battle super saiyan so no key links there which really sucks so you don't want to link these two together um and this guy's still a very good very op unit so um Again, honestly, there, there's not that many here. I mean, if you look, there's not even the Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks, which I kind of wish there was. I don't even know how many link skills that these two actually share together. Um, let's see, where are you? Here you are. So, they only share two link skills, these two. Um, Super Saiyan and Fierce Battle, which is not horrible, considering the, most of these guys, like their third link skill is Kamehameha, which isn't really that great. But um, that's what that is, so yeah. Um, but they do get the buff if you're running him as a leader and you want to run... Um, a, a fusions team at least uh, they all get the 170 buff if you're looking for mono physical team again the physical super saiyan 3 go tanks will probably be linked with this super go tanks which are going to help them out the most because they are best linking buddies um and they're going to get the nice buffs from his lead so you're gonna have one of these guys on rotation or off rotation and then finally uh team building which i was talking about before um these two are going to be here all right you're going to have the lr gogeta or lr goku and vegeta angel uh linked with your intelligence gogeta you're going to have your Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks with your Super Go Tanks for four link skills. They have a lot of attack buff. That's 35% attack buff and two key. You're going to have your Pandel over here. Uh, I would honestly still keep this intelligent, this technique Gogeta. And you're going to have your other Goku and Vegeta off rotation. Now, you could also just go on up in here and look for a mono physical team that you can go and do this with. Because I think, let's see, his is. Just physical type, H, uh, key plus 3 HP, attack and defense plus 90%. So you don't even need to have a fusion category up over here. You can just go through wherever the hell you want. Um, obviously, you're going to want to do a support unit like this Bara key plus 2, attack plus 20% for all allies. That's a good support unit. Uh, this Gohan over here, all allies, attack and defense plus 35%. It depends on how you're doing it, how you handle your key. Uh, I would probably go with a key support instead of uh, just a full attack support. Just because these guys are lacking some link skills for key. They're only doing two key. These guys aren't. These guys are actually doing pretty well for key. They're doing three key together. So you only need to have three. But you might want to do that. Otherwise, like this Gohan's just perfectly fine. Support units are just there to buff the other units. So you can go and have on those on rotation. This um, trunks over here, 25% for attack and defense. Um, and you have other choices. I mean, you can go throw other people on. You can even throw like the Vegito on here. It was a really good S tier unit. Um, who else is a good S tier unit? You have Kefla you could throw on there as an S tier unit. Majibu, Saga. Category lead Super uh, Vegito, which is a good category lead um, and a good good actual S tier unit. Uh, 
uh, Intelligence Korra, which he doesn't link that well with anyone, so you probably don't want to do that. Physical Super Saiyan God Goku. Um, I mean, you have you have so many options. Even this Kaioken Goku, who is another really good linking buddy of this Intelligence Kai, I mean, the uh, Physical LR over here. So, I mean, if you have it, like, set up like this, I mean, I mean, it doesn't even matter. You obviously would want the LR in the middle because you want him to get more key, but you could definitely do it like that as well and get this guy out of here, um, so that way you have those buffs. But um, anyway, guys, that is the team building guide. I didn't want to make this too long, but I want to make sure that I gave you the full in-depth detail on this. Um, so I will definitely be doing the LR Vegito, and this is kind of why I wanted to do the LR Vegito in a separate video, because I actually want to like take my time and talk about this. Um, but yeah, guys, that's it. Thank you for joining me here today. I hope that was very helpful and informative. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below, and uh, stay tuned for my LR Vegito video. You all have a great day.